Hi guys, in, in this video I'm going to talk about Azure AD Connect architecture fundamentals and how exactly an object is being synced from on-prem to the cloud. Before we move with the core concepts of architecture and what happens under the hood, uh, let's, let's consider a simple example wherein you have user groups and contacts devices on your on-prem and you want to sync them to Azure AD. Now, in order to do so, we use Azure AD Connect tool and which has its own database and logic built inside on behalf of which one consolidated image is maintained all across uh, the connected data sources. Now, when I say connected data sources, I mean either local AD or Azure Active Directory. Now, there is a communication that happens periodically between all the connected data sources and Azure AD Connect. And the modules, or I can say uh, the APIs which are responsible for this is what we call connector. So, with the help of connector, with the help of, I should precisely say, with the help of local AD connector, Azure AD Connect pulls the information from your on-prem active directory and with the help of Azure AD connector, the same information has been exported to Azure AD. So uh, connector is nothing, basically a medium on behalf of which Azure AD Connect as an application, as a tool, communicates with the uh, with the two or three connected data sources. Now, this database uh, of Azure AD Connect has three logical subdivisions, which we call connector space of your Active Directory, connector space of your Azure Active Directory, and Metaverse, where you see a consolidated view of an object which has to be synced to the cloud. Now, Let's assume that uh, there is a new user object which we have created on-prem and now we are going to sync that to Azure Active Directory. There are basically two process that happens and these are Delta Sync process and a full sync process. So uh, in Delta Sync what happens that only the attributes which are either updated deleted or removed or I should say only the changes are being queried with the help of difference in the USNs likewise we have in local AD that whenever is an attribute of an object is updated the USN of that particular object is increased on behalf of which certain differences are being analyzed in terms of USNs and the replication happens in the same way Delta sync process queries the changes that are being done to the objects. It could be either user, group, or contact, or even device as well. Whereas, uh, whereas in full sync, what happens that the entire object and the respective attributes are being queried. Now, each process, be it delta or full sync, it has three phase, import, sync, and export. How it goes is that the very first process which will be initiated will be a import on your local AD connector so that the information from the DC can be saved in the connector space of your local AD. So let's say this is a user object which needs to be sent to Azure AD. The, on the very first process, what will happen that a replica or image of this object will be created in the connector space of your local AD. The next process will be an import from your Azure AD. But again, since there is no reference of this user object in Azure AD, the import cycle will be completed, but you will not find any differences in terms of the count that is available in the connector space of Azure AD. So a simple logic behind this is that what you can do is you can monitor the count of the number of objects uh, on, on the connector space just to see there is any new change which is being pushed uh, from a metaverse to the connector space or from the connector space or, or in fact in the connector space from the connected data source or not. I will show all these methods uh, with the help of lab as well but with this presentation I'm just trying to cover how uh, basically a logical understanding of how an object is being synced. Once the import has been completed from on-prem as well as from Azure AD, a sync process will happen between the 
AD connector space, local AD connector space and metaverse. Now what this will do is this will add, uh, this will create an image or a replica of this object in the metaverse with a flag called add. That means there is a new, new user object created and this has to be exported to the cloud. But again, this is the process wherein all the inbound rules that you have created will get processed. So if you have done any sort of filtering, which should not allow this object to sync to the cloud, likewise we do setting up cloud filtered attribute as true. If that is the case, then this object will not be synced or will not be exported to the cloud. The next process will be a sync from your Azure AD connector space to Metaverse. Now, again, for this particular scenario, since there is no reference for this user object, there will be no changes in terms of stats that you can verify either on Metaverse or on connector space, though the sync process will get completed for sure. The last and the final step will be of export that you will be doing on uh, Azure AD connector space and what this will do is this will create an image of this user object in the connector space of Azure AD and will export this to your Azure AD. Now the question comes that when this process gets completed let's say you you have you can see that the export has been completed what whenever you will try to search for this object in the connector space what you will find is an acknowledgement of awaiting export confirmation now what does this mean that the information is being replicated from azure ad connector space to azure ad but this information or this piece of data which is being sent it is not yet acknowledged that it has been imported to azure ad now in order to do or in order to verify that whether the object is being successfully imported to azure ad what we can do is we can run an import on the azure ad connector and that export uh, that awaiting export confirmation uh, flag will be removed from this particular user object now this is the entire process which happens uh, whenever an object is being synced from on-prem to azure ad and what i'll do now is i'll create a new user object and we'll try it right now to see how it works so if i go here and if i create a new object new user object in fact and name it as a new object the very first process uh, that will happen, as I discussed before, will be an import that will pull this user object from local AD and a replica will be created in the connector space of local AD. So this object is being created and in, for this particular demonstration, all of my OUs are being selected uh, and any new object which is being created here will be sent to the cloud. So what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and I'll run an run a import. But before running before running an import, what we can see or what we can quickly verify is if I go to object type and if I try to search that object, I will not find it here. So this is uh, the connector space uh, of local AD, wherein the very first image of the user object will be created. So if I go here and if I run a Delta import, what will what it will do is again, it will create a replica. And just by clicking on this connector, what you can see is you can see the name of uh, the DC to which it is communicating and pulling up the information. And as you all can see that I'm getting an update now, which, which shows ads and it shows my new object. Now, if I go here and if I search for this object, what I will do is I will find the new user object getting listed here with the name new object. Now we will run a, a import on Azure AD just to see if there is any, uh, just to see if there is any update uh, coming from Azure AD side or not, but we will not find any information because there is no reference in Azure AD for this particular object. Now what we'll do is we'll run a Delta sync on local AD so that this object could be projected to metaverse. But before doing that, what we can do is we can verify 
and check whether there is any image of this user object in metaverse no we cannot find any object named as a new object but the moment we'll do a sync on the local ad connector this particular image uh, or this particular object will be projected to metaverse and after doing this the next process will be of running a sync on azure ad connector so now if i go here in the metaverse and if i search for this object what i can see is i can find my new object getting listed in the metaverse the next process is again a sync from azure ad connector and what this will do is this will bring those changes which are coming from azure ad to azure ad connector space and then to metaverse now again there will be no differences because uh, there is no difference in, in the azure ad connector space for this particular user object now what we are going to do is we are going to do the final step of running an export on azure ad so that this information should be sent to the cloud once the export is completed in azure ad connector what we'll do is we'll search and we'll we'll check if if we are getting any object named as new object or not as you can see that there is an already a, an ad which has been stamped but uh, i would like to verify that export confirmation piece which i was referring to before so, so you can see that the display name over here is not coming because there is a flag of export uh, confirmation by double clicking on this particular object what you can see is awaiting export confirmation and this is my new object which has been sent to azure ad but yet this information is not being verified so we are seeing this flag of awaiting export confirmation now we'll close this and we'll again run an import on azure ad connector to verify that this new object is being successfully created on azure ad and now if i go here and if i search what i'll found is that getting is that user object getting listed as new object and if you'll double click on this you'll not find that tab of awaiting export confirmation so if uh, working on any issues that you guys uh, troubleshoot on daily basis if you find uh, or if you're concerned about awaiting export confirmation you can simply run an export and that will uh, sorry you can simply run an import from azure ad and that will remove all the flags of awaiting export confirmation so uh, coming back to our slide uh, this was a brief overview about how the sync process works under the hood if you guys have any questions uh, please feel free to reach us and i'll be happy uh, to answer all of your queries and if you think you have learned something new do subscribe and i'll keep on posting new videos I'll be also adding the reference documents uh, which uh, from which I have taken uh, all this information so that you guys can go through and understand more logically. And again, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach us. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.